the standout story for the month and one of the standout stories of 2024 for me, it's definitely in my top three stories uh, or releases for 2020. Did I say 23? It's actually 2024 is The Quintessence. And that is the latest Third Doctor box set. And this has actually blown me away. Um, I think I got in touch with you, Philip, straight away and, and said how much I enjoyed it and how much you had to get into it as soon as you possibly could. <clears throat> Have you had a chance to listen right through it? I'm five episodes in. Before I go to bed tonight, I would be listening to the last episode. It is spectacular. Isn't it? So it's really I, good. I, I, as, as I said, just, just in terms of what's hitting me most is just I really appreciate them growing Joe Grant up into Joe Jones. Um, and just it's allowing Katie Manning to play drama in a totally different way. So I think both of us, when, when she, the, the episode with the War Master came out with her, we were just blown away by, by her performance. Yeah. And I cried. Yeah. It was it was so powerful and so good that I cried at that one. The performance in this is equally spectacular. I think we forget Katie Manning has had an amazing experience in acting. You know, we think of her just as Joe Jones and you know, with Joe Grant and Doctor Who. But, you know, she's had decades on the stage playing the most amazing characters. She was the first lesbian on, on television. She was the first drug addict, one of the first drug addicts on television. She's played monumental parts and serious parts. And in this, her dramatic skill just comes out. And I've been mesmerized by her performance. Um, and then with Tim Trelaw, the two of them together are astounding. But basically, she gets a whole episode to herself, and she is breathtaking in that episode. Oh, th oh I think I know the episode you mean. That's wonderful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's just really wow. really good. What's interesting about this? It's written by um, it's written by Lauren Mooney and Stuart Pringle. They're a husband and wife team, and um, they they've written a lot of Torchwood. And every Torchwood that I've listened to that they've written, I've enjoyed very much. Um, I can't recall if they've done. I think they have done Doctor Who before. Um, I can't remember which ones, but I think this was the first time they've done the, th the third Doctor. Look at the other people on the production team. You've got directed by Nick Briggs, of course, and you've got Benji Clifford. I love it when Nick and Benji are off the podcast and actually working together. Um, yeah. they, I love Benji Clifford sound design. It's brilliant. Now, it's spoiled in the credits. This is a Cybermen story. Ah. And it is... What? Sorry. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> I know it's in the credits, but I, I, I think I, I actually, uh, before we start, I said we should talk about it. I don't, people know I don't read the credits. I don't read the blurbs. I don't listen to the coming up. I just, I like to hit Big Finish stories totally cold. And I didn't know what the story was going to be. And it was such a wonderful twist that it surprised the heck out of me. And you just bought it for all the people who haven't listened to it. So well done, Dwayne. Well, it was also the, the theme of the big finish podcast that was promoting this was called cyber uh torch which is uh torchwood and this one coming out the same week doesn't mean that people um, listen to the big finish podcast but i knew i knew the cybermen were coming and well, i but i still wanted to know how and what what is great this is the this is a six-part story but it's one of those classic six-parters where they break it down every two episodes mm. is like a, a separate story on its own and you've got that one with that you mentioned with katie mang that's almost like one episode on its own it is um but they kind of break it down into sort of two episode locations so i'm always wondering how are they going to get where's it you know you're wondering where where are the cybermen coming into it? it just doesn't seem to make sense um and then it just goes on to the next amazing revelation and the next amazing revelation, and I've got to say, like I, like I said already, this is this is in my top three. If it could be, it could be my favourite story of the year. Uh, maybe it's so fresh that it, it's it's certainly one of them. Um, that's for sure. So it's got <clears throat> it's got all those elements that you want in a in a good story. If you get nothing else for the month of October, get the quintessence. I think it is it is unmissable stuff unmissable yeah. and of course it, for for sort of those who are interested in the chronology it's set between the green death and the time warrior so is that correct philip i'm pretty sure that for that's doctor, where they've not for katie yeah that's right 
So for the doctor, um, he he goes back and picks up Joe Jones as an older woman after the after the Green Death. Not it's a bit more complex than me just saying he goes and picks her up, but that's that's how that's how it is. Um, and like you said, she is a different. She's a very different character because she's got all she, all that all that history. She's got all that history that she brings into the character as well, really 40, nicely. 40, she's got that grand. Life, she's got forty years of life, of love, mm-hmm. of marriage, of loss, of children, of grandchildren. She's yep. yeah, she's she's grown so much. And to all those grandmotherly and motherly instincts that you don't get in Joe Young Joe Grant, you get in Joe Jones, and she brings all that out in this. And it is, uh, in some places, an extremely disturbing, bleak story, uh, as all Cyberman stories should be. So, yeah, this is this is my pick for the month of October for sure. G'day, audiophiles. If you enjoyed that clip from the Signs of Audio podcast, be sure to hit the subscribe button Click that notification bell so you never miss another upload from us. And, uh, hey, if you really liked it, click the like button too and drop us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Fair income.